Hi guys, here's to Shalek with video tutorial for Soul Journey 2018. I want to show you how I created an art journal page. The base of my page is a sheet of canvas from Finovar Denim Art Journal. At the very beginning I primed it with clear gesso. As you can see I did it very carefully. Then I took a golden high flow, teal and magenta and white, three colors, and uh, I mixed them. I added some water and I start covering my canvas art journal page. I wanted to have uh, lighter colors. So I have added white, both to teal and to magenta. Sometimes I needed to add a little bit water. Sometimes I used my fingers. Art journaling for me is something which I do for relax, for relaxation. As you can see, I blended two colors a little bit and I dried everything with heating tool. Uh, now you can see chipboard from 7 Dot Studio Paint Chips collection. They work uh, very well with uh, all kind of paints and uh, media. Now you can see a three-dimensional gloss gel medium mixed with uh, art sugar from Finavar and also with golden high flow magenta. I wanted to add some color and some shimmer. So I mixed everything quite well. And I took a stencil from Amwal Studio. And I started to apply my paste through the stencil using silicone brush. The layer is sometimes thicker, sometimes thinner, but it's on purpose. When everything dried, I took a white heavy gesso and a stencil also from Amwal Studio and I applied the white heavy gesso through the stencil. I waited a little bit so it would dry. And I took some stamps. You can see stamps from 7 Dot Studio Paint Chips collection and embossing ink, it's kind of invisible ink, but very useful for using with embossing powders. Here is a white embossing powder from American Crafts. As you can see, the powder is melting. Now it's time for other embellishment. Here you can see chipboard from 7 Dot Studio Paint Chips collection, a chipboard from Amwal Studio and some paper elements from 7 Dot Studio Paint Chips collection. The colors match my background, so I decided to use these elements. I have my magic glue. Oh, the, I like it a lot because it 
dries very quickly and it's totally clear when it dries. Now, as you can see, I started working with elements. It's always kind of creative process to decide where to put which element. So it's everything up to your imagination and creativity. Here is a wooden butterfly and uh, as you can see I use a lot of 3D foamies. I like things are dimensional. Also layering is a great technique and I use it very often. Things look much more interesting. I choose uh, matching colors. Uh, here you can see flares from Amos Studio. I'm trying to put it somewhere. As you can see, it's absolutely creative, ongoing process. I do not plan anything when I start. I'm just going with the flow. The whole fun is, is with being creative, not planning everything. I'm, I'm adding some small elements like Amor Studio second chipboard pieces. And now one of my very favorite thing, word stickers from 7 Dot Studio. There are fabulous quotes and words that I like very much. You can find text for almost all occasion. Trust in the process, yes, so very true. <laughs> As you can see, I, I'm using 3D foamies because I like some elements are not flat. So it's almost done, just a little bit stamping. You can see 7 Dot Studio Thoughts Keeper clear stamps and Ranger Archival Ink, Jet Black, one of my very favorites. <laughs> I'm adding here and there a little bit of stamping. Here is the word moments and also the word love and that's it I hope you enjoyed my video I encourage you to be creative and just going with the flow I do believe in a therapeutic power of art journaling thank you very much bye bye